Hey, what's going on everybody? So welcome back. In uh, this video, I want to show you how to add on some handheld devices to your build. Now this can go on to any build and handhelds I'm talking about are the Konami handheld, your Nintendo Game & Watch, and your Tiger Electronic handhelds. Now this started off as just a small little personal project of mine and since I've been showing it off people have actually wanted to know more about this. So this is my way to share this with anyone who's interested and we're going to do this as a add-on. So you can just add on to whatever your build is. It's 95% drag and drop. The other 5% we still got to do a little bit of work. Um, quick note, there is no ROMs in this, but all the media you'll need to get it looking like this, pull your videos, your images, your cover art, your clear logo boxes, that's all going to be covered, but we will need to source our ROMs and I will walk you through on how to do that. If you have been following my channel, it's just the same way that we've always done it. When we go to our Pleasure Dome site, we want to get our non-merged ROM sets. That's always going to be the best way to go about it. And then you can just delete the ones that we don't need. I want to show you how to do that. It's going to be easy. It's going to be clean. It's not going to take too long. This is not going to be a hard process, but as always, it does require a little bit of patience. So if you would like to add this to your library of games, then just follow along and I'll get you started. Okay, so the uh, first thing you'll need to do is download the zip file. It's going to be placed in the description below this video. You'll click on it, and then you'll see everything you need right here. We have our handheld add-on for launch box. We're just going to open this in. We're going to toss this into our launch box. And then we're going to do the same thing with our main once we get our main emulator set up. And that's going to cover 95% of what we need to do. So I'll walk you through that. So just open up whichever launch box you want to use. Or you could even start an entirely new launch box with this. I mean, whatever you want to do, that is wholly up to you. For this example, I want to use the Uncle Rick Unleashed. All right, so go ahead and open up your zip, open this folder up, open up your launch box. And then we're just going to select these four folders here and just drop them into the root of your folder. All right, are things being extracted right now? And do make sure that your launch box is not running right now and replace anything that it asks. The majority of this I had to uh, custom make it myself. You know, there's no platforms for the Konami handhelds. There's not a platform for Tiger Electronics. So this saves you the work of having to do the custom work and create the custom directories for these games. Okay, and once we are in, go ahead and start up your launch box. Okay, now, so off the bat, you won't be able to see your handheld categories or devices. So just come up here where it says platform category or whatever it says for you. Just click playlist, then come back and click platform category again. All right, and now we have the handhelds populated. The only thing underneath the handheld category right now is Game & Watch. So we're going to need to edit these two right here, the Konami handheld and Tiger Electronics. Now, some of you may or may not have the icons here on the left, and that's because if you are not a big box paid member, for whatever reason, these just don't show up on the free version. And I didn't think icons was such a pre premium thing to have but apparently it is anyways right click on the platform go to edit come over to parents uncheck root check handhelds category all right and that's there do it one more time for the tiger electronics edit parents uncheck root check handhelds hit okay okay now we're 
good and organized. We have our icons here. Now, if you try to start a game right now, it's not going to because we still need the ROMs. So before we do that, we're going to close this out and open up your platform at metadata.txt. Now, highly advised to use Notepad++, but you can use any uh, file editor you want, but this does make things a lot easier. All right, now this is where you want to have your patience and be very careful about what you do. So you want to have this right here, and it's going to populate three different platforms. And it's going to give us our information about this platform. And it's very useful if you're in big box. That's what populates all that information in the lower bar. If not, it's just going to be blank and it's not going to look as premium for your build. So open up your data folder. Open up the platforms on the XML file. All right, once open up your platforms, it's going to look like this. Um, don't let this scare you. All we're looking for is the name and the name of our handhelds. So we'll go ahead and start with Tiger Electronics first. So open up your platform metadata. That's the one that was in our zip file. And locate the uh, Tiger. So Tiger Electronics is right here. And that's if the Tiger Electronics pops these first. Let's do whatever one you see is first. And you're going to want to copy from platform to platform. Get your copy. Go back to platforms. And we're just going to override all of this. So start from platform. All the way down to platform with the forward slash. Right click and hit paste. All right. Now that's populated. And then we're just going to repeat this for the other two. Okay, as far as my end goes, I have Game & Watch up next. And Game & Watch is at the top of our platforms file. Alright, so you want to right click, hit copy. Come back to platforms and we're just going to do this again. Get your paste. All right, I'm going to do this one more time. And that's going to be for our Konami. All right, so you got that. Right click, copy. Platforms. Let's see. You got to find our Konami first. All right, so I found my Konami handheld, and we're just going to do this again. Select platform, platform, right click, paste. Now I'm going to go ahead and save. <clears throat> Minimize it, close it, whatever you want to do. And let's open up LaunchBox again. All right, and to confirm it all works, we can actually come in here, right click, and go to edit. And then you'll see all this information right here. If you look into the notes, it gives a little summary of the uh, platforms. Now, this is really important whenever you're inside Big Box, if you do go that route, because this is what populates all that information in that lower bar. And if you don't have this here, it's just going to read blank it'll say konami blank blank and it's just like i said it's not going to look as premium all right next we need to uh, get a, a full set of non-merge roms you can try merge you can try split roms all of these are parent versions so in theory it should work but i use non-merge because that always makes things easier when you're picking and pulling roms so that is up to you. If you want to experiment, go for it. But I say just save yourself the headache and just get the full set. Okay, so the best way to find it, you know, I can't tell you what it is. But the uh, search terms you want to use is MAME, DAT files, GitHub. 
and it's going to be one of the top three okay i'm not going to go over on how to download everything but you know you're going to need a torrent torrent program the program i use is qubit torrent i have never had issues with that but your site's going to look like this and you're going to want to uh, go to where it says main full sets and you want to pick the ones you want from here again you know i suggest non-merge but you can use merge or splits no promises it's going to work but if you really want to stick with it you can try it now don't worry about none of this for these you don't need anything else okay and once you download it once you extracted them you should have a folder that looks something like this so I actually used uh, 265. The current one is 266. By the time some of y'all watch this, it might be up to 267 or higher. Okay, but just open it all up. To confirm all your ROMs are here. It should read like 41,000 something. All right, so once we got those uh, downloaded, we're going to set up our MAME emulator. Now we're going to take advantage of LaunchBox's auto uh, auto emulate setup feature. Now I'll show you how we want to do that. We're going to go to your tools, manage, I'm sorry, import, MAME arcade full set. Make sure you do the MAME arcade full set. This is why we needed the entire full set. Well, one of two reasons we needed that. And rename this to just whatever you want. You're not going to want this to be your default for any other games you already have. You want this just for the uh, handheld. So we hit next. Now we're going to pick the directory of where you put your ROMs at. So I have mine right here in D, non merge 65, non merge right here. Got my folder selected. I want to show none because there's no folders, it's all ROMs. Hit select folder and it should auto populate the version you need. If it doesn't, just pull that tab bar down and pick whatever full set version you are using. Hit next. Automatically install and configured MAME recommended. And it's probably going to take, depending on the speed of your computer, your internet, probably 30 seconds to a couple of minutes. All right, and now that we're done, we're going to actually X this out. We don't need this anymore. And come up to our tools, manage emulators, and right here, whatever you named it, I named mine HH, so it's going to say whatever number the version is, plus whatever you named it. And everything's all set up here. All right, correction. So it's going to say uh, MAME 0.25, whatever, whatever version you downloaded. This is one I did from an earlier uh, trial error, trial and run. Your application path, name, and I would recommend to rename this. I'm just going to add HH for handheld. You can leave it as is. But it's run this way so I know what this emulator is going to be for my handhelds. On the default line parameters, we need to remove artwork crop. You may want to add that back in later on, but for now you want it off because it will default all the games to showing only the play screen. Um, but it's not going to show you the game console itself. And starting out, you do want the game console because it's going to give you a good idea of what controls are where and what does what. And then once you're more familiar come with controls and you can add artwork underscore crop back in if you want to leave only the display um, come to associate platforms and we'll have to point this to our other games so come over here i don't want this to be my arcade so i'm actually just going to put this on konami handheld and i'll do this for all three of them so Konami Handheld, Nintendo Game & Watch, and Tiger Electronics. Hit default.
All right, hit yes. Yes again, yes again. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we have that configured. Now, we're going to need to go back in here and grab this main folder. Now here, this is going to take care of our INI. It's going to take care of the controller. Now these two, use only if you are using an X input controller. If you're using a joystick, arcade stick, something that's not X input, then you can just avoid by not using these two. But do remember that you will still need to create a MAME INI in the MAME itself. Uh, C of G and artwork i take it back if you're not using an x input then the artwork folder is all you need but it's going to be under assumption that you are going to be using your x inputs so open up your launch box folder go to your emulators come up to your main that you use i guess this one's Two six five one. You're just going to read differently, and we're just going to drag and drop all of these into the root of this folder. And replace files destination if it asks you to. All right, we're good here. Now go back to your launch box. Come up to handhelds and we're going to select all the games. You can just select one and then hit control A. Go to your tools. Come to your file management. Change your ROMs folder path for selected games. And we want to point those to where our ROMs are at, which is already pointed here for me. But if it's not, then you just go to the drive where your ROMs are at. Open up the folder. That's where my ROMs are at. Select folder. Okay. Now I can start a game up. And we're in. So our games are playable. I can hit my tab button here. And this confirms that my controls are already switched over. Everything in the gray is our thing that's already been custom made. Let's see. All right, here my start, starting game. Everything's playing. Uh, these games honestly still suck to play, but if you want to get that the feel of nostalgia out of your system, it's good for that. Go ahead and hit escape. All right, so we're not done yet, but this does confirm that everything does work in play. Now we're going to go system by system. And we're going to export these out into our games folder. Which there's already was a games folder created whenever we drag and drop everything into LaunchBox. So we don't need to create anything. Everything's already there. We just got to move these games over to that folder. And this is how we do it. We're going to select all these games again. Come to tools, file management, export and copy ROM files into new folder. Hit yes. Go to your launch box games. I want to say games. There you want to see the game folders. So I am doing Konami right now, so I'm just going to kick on, click on the Konami handheld, hit select folder, and it confirms that it was copied there. All right, come back to Nintendo Game and Watch, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Tools, file management, export and copy. Hit yes, 42 games. Then you can just go back to games, go to uh, Nintendo Game and Watch, hit select folder. Or it's been copied and repeat one more time. Tools, file management, export and copy. Hit yes. 
Games, Tiger Electronic Handheld. Hit select folder. All right. Now we still need to uh, map where these games are being played at because if we go to our edit metadata, it's still going to try to launch them from the uh, D drive of where my ROMs are at. So I don't want that. I want it all to be contained within launch box. I want to point that to where we just dropped all those games at. So select, go back to tools, file management, and change ROMs and folder path for selected games. So these are Tiger Electronic Handhelds. I'm already in the right one. Hit select folder. Now everything has been moved to where it can play from there now. Hit yes. Folder path has been changed. I can right click this. Go to edit metadata. Let's see. Launching. So now it's into my game, Tiger Electronics. And we're just going to repeat this for the next two categories or two platforms. Tools, file management, change at ROMs. Games, Nintendo Game & Watch, hit select folder, hit yes. And we're going to just one more time. We are almost done here. Tools, file management, change ROMs, a folder path for selected games. Make sure you change this to Konami or whatever platform you happen to be on at this time. All right, go ahead and test one out. All right, looks like we're doing good here. I can hit tab to confirm what buttons are where it should be. And this is also a good way to see what button does what if you're unfamiliar. So my left is my left button. That's going to be my right joystick, games, alarm. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, pushing your stick in and pushing your other stick in. All right, so I'm moving around. Now, the Game & Watch actually plays very well. I'm very surprised. So give that a shot. I think you really will enjoy the Game & Watch on here. They move very, very fast and very responsive. Okay, so if you're free launch box, then you're done here. You can actually go back and delete the ROMs that you downloaded from the full set. So you don't have all that memory taken up. All the ROMs you need are already moved and set inside LaunchBox. If you're on Big Box, however, then I'll show you what I do to make sure all my media comes the way it is. For the most part, it's already going to be set up the way you want it. But I want to show you the settings that I use if you like the way I do it. So just come over here, open your Big Box. Now, like I said, it's just part of my Uncle Rick build that I'm working on, or I already have out. This is a gun build, and I'm just using this to show you that you can add this to any other build. Uh, handheld should automatically pop up for you. Uh, we got our Konami, Game Watch, Tiger Electronics. Everything there looks good. Now, I'll show you how I have this configured up, the theme I use, and all the settings. So, if you would like to have uh, this type of presentation, this is steps you need to follow. So, first, go to your Manage Themes. And if you don't have it already downloaded, it'll be down here and available. And you can see all these other themes that you can just download. But I already have mine downloaded. So, let's say I go through, I download it. Install is unified. So it's straight up basic OG unified. Then you want to apply that as your main theme. Hit yes. Come to your views. 
there'll be two different views they'll pick one for the uh, platform and this is the one that i like just a basic platform one and then he'll come down here to game views and you have all these different views here the one i like is number four that gives you that full screen videos that you use um, i have the game theme set up and i apply that to all games and override any platforms because this is all i want we'll go into transitions so come down here to I think it's options yes oh images always go to your image catch and refresh all images it's just good practice anytime you make any changes in here well, especially when you add on games it's good practice uh, transitions and always like the uh, just uh, straight up fade fade quick but I usually use a regular fade All right, and everyone, that is it. So, of course, I can show you this is part of my original build. Been following me, you know this build. So, nothing has been compromised, nothing has interfered with how this build runs. The handhelds are here. The Konomi, we'll do some skater die, and I'll show you some last in the game view so i said this is on straight up mame hit your tab button and if you go down to video options you'll see all these other selections you can use so that'll give you a better view of the uh, partial zoom you know only background only now this will be good if you're on a if you're just on a handheld device like a rog or a um, steam deck and then that's just without the artwork. So that's what you would have if you didn't have the artwork in the background. But anyways, play with that, experiment, and make it your own. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this. Um, this is a fun little thing to have. But anyways, I hope you all have a great day, and I will catch you all next time. Later.